Hey everybody, Ed here, W4EMB with... Uh, Marcos, K-A-A-R-E. K-A-A-R-E. Was that a problem? No, not at all. So Marcos is here in Tennessee. Tennessee. T-N. T-N, T-N. Oh, we got a text. Why is that on? I don't know. Oh, my keys on in the thing. That's not good. All right, so anyway, Zach is here. I'm going to get out and show you what we're operating. Zach. Zach just texted me. Oh. Marcos is here. (laughs) Marcos is here. And so uh, let me go ahead and get you extended just a little bit so I can talk to you here on the selfie stick. There we go. All right, so here we are. We're here in the, the Delica van. What we have set up today is we have a homemade... <laughs> we have, you said hi once already. We have an uh, InFed Half Wave here. And this is a, a newer one. What we did was we actually put a link on this one. Um, so this, this link right here, we can actually undo this and put on a different piece of wire. And it's a two millimeter bullet link. It fits through these holes. You can see it on my shorts video. 49 to 1 transformer here going to a 25 foot piece of RG316 laid perpendicularly. We lay it out to the side of our infed half wave that we have going on. And our infed half wave is going to a soda beams travel mast. The soda beams travel mast collapses to 26 inches, but it, it stands up to a whole 32 feet. So there we go. And uh, we are on the, the new, and this is Haynes Bottom Wildlife area people uh, people do hunting back there sorry i think i just kicked the camera we'll turn you around here hey marcos say hello hi how are you oh so you have to yell we can hear you because you have a oh, mic can on. you hear me yeah okay <laughs> good deal <laughs> yeah, we just want to uh, share the microphones with everybody and say again thank you to the coffee crew and thank you to our coffee club so we do have a coffee crew coffee crew is anybody who buys us a coffee and support of the channel here at w4 emb or ed b with aa4sb she's at home right now taking care of the dogs and marcos has traveled all the way from from uh from piqua ohio to come see us and he's got a couple days off so he thought he'd just run down here and do an activation and it's great to have him he's going to stay the evening with us and then head back uh, to ohio in the morning so we're glad to have him it's really neat to get together with a fellow uh, long island cw club member in a face-to-face meeting and so he's here activating. He's going to try out my radio and use this infed half wave. We've been meeting up in Zoom and, and making this infed half wave together. Um, so we actually trimmed this one right before this activation. Now what we did was we we strung it up. We hooked the rig expert analyzer to it. We picked a frequency we wanted it to be resonant on. We picked 7.015. We strung it up. We saw where the resonant point was. It was a bit low in frequency, which is where you want. You want it to be low. So we dropped it cut some off, stood it back up, measured it again. And we did that about three times, just getting the um, resonant frequency where we wanted it. You waiting on me? Activate, buddy. I think he's waiting on me. So here we are, 3943. I'm going to get in here, get the camera on Marcos. And he's he's in there calling something. So here we go. I lost the frequency. (laughs) Where'd it go? Someone started calling. Oh my gosh. All right, so 14062? Yeah, we're going for it. Call CQ. I haven't got buzzed yet, so I know I didn't pick it up yet. So. I got N one E E O. You're in Tennessee. Oh. I'm in Tennessee. Oh. 
Oh, it's a two. What'd you give him? I have five nine. M two N R Y. I got three. Mm, okay. Yep. I'm not sure if that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Everyone's five nines today. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm in Tennessee. Mm hmm. KD9RKG. Was it G at the end? All right. Got an idea. KD. little QR in beside you to narrow just click down once I thought there was other people there I guess not <laughs> gosh sorry they're fine. <laughs>
E five K. Is he gone? Don't be gone. <laughs> Come back. Nine Texas. Yep, that's yep. what I got. He got faster, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bumped his button. I didn't get that one. KO4 NTA. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Mm hmm. What was that? Two K O four question mark. You want to go back to wide? I can't go to wide. One push. Okay. KO4 NTA. I think we lost them. Hmm. You think you need to move? I don't know. We can move. It's up to you. Because if other people, if you have to go narrow because they're so close to you, yeah, then they they might be sitting on you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was where I was just at. No, you were at fourteen oh six two. But go to fourteen oh six three three. Okay. And listen here for a second. I saw KQ3Q pop up there. What? Yeah. Look at this cloud front rolling in on us right here. That's scary out there. I should have brought a dummy load. I could have jumped on the other rig and jumped out. And I brought one. Talked to you three times. <laughs> We're switching bands. Let's go find it. We got four more to make. There she is. This lady. Yeah. She don't hear you. Crank your power up just a smidge.
Oh, I don't think she hears me. Now she's calling SKCC. SKCC. She's working on her SKCC award. She might have moved on. I can rarely get her from yeah. in the field. Yeah. Let's just go find an open frequency and go call some more CQ. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Or we could go back and spend another 12 minutes on a QSO. <laughs> I mean, that was fun. It was fun. It was a nice QSO, it was wasn't it? Great wasn't it QSO. Nice the best QSO. QSO. It was nice yeah. and easy going, good pace. Yeah. Guy had a good fist. Spelled rig wrong. Okay, maybe he did it. Maybe I copied it wrong. <laughs> red? What was red? Rig. Oh, rig. Copy. You either sent it wrong or I copied it wrong. And it couldn't have been me. I wrote pig. <laughs> I wrote rip. <laughs> <laughs> Must be us, then. <laughs> it's got to be us. Okay, let's go find a frequency. Where are you at? 14 Uh, 645. Seems like a lot of traffic up there. You hear anybody? We're about 6.5. Let's listen here for a second. Yeah. You know what I like doing is I like listening wide, just like we oh, are right now. Yeah, we're wide, mm -hmm. right? And I like listening wide, so that lets me know if I'm beside anybody. Yeah. And if I listen for a moment, if I don't hear that person, well, at least I'll hear their QSOs. Yeah. And then I'll know to move. Um, a lot of people like those narrow filters for CW. Problem is, you s listen narrow, don't hear nothing. You call QRL, don't hear nothing. You start calling CQ, and you're right next to somebody. Mm -hmm. So I think listening wide or up front is a good idea. Yeah. I think we should start uh, calling here. Okay, cool. These are some nasty conditions today. We had the tornado stuff roll through Ohio and West Virginia and... Down south, just last evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, ugly cloud front here coming in on us here. The wind's really whipping. It's probably the windiest I've ever had the soda bean pull up, and it's holding up great. It does look good. And you reach Sweden. That's pretty amazing. Can't complain on that. I messed up my call sign. And I beeped the horn. Is beep the horn code for something? Yeah. <laughs> My wife did that because the horns are very sensitive here. Using the steering wheel as a table. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> what freak you on? Uh, 65.
keep messing up my CQ there. Almost put us back in Ohio. Apologize for that. I didn't get that. I didn't either. I just told you. KN1R. Um, I got I two I K two O D D. Yeah. Okay. Give him a try. I 
I forgot what I was doing. Made it? We just made 10. Wow. You want to cut it? Um, you want to keep going? How many more you want? I want, I want one more in case for some reason I get a broken one mm. that I can't figure out. W I wasn't listening to any of that. Me either. <laughs> Did you dot it? F1, F somebody. I got it. This one of the things we shut off the radio right away. <laughs> so what was that? M A one C N. Is that even a call? Do A one C N. A one C N. Yeah. So you did A one C in. Do one C in. In A one C in. Hey, that that'll work. That's a call sign. Mm -hmm. Good state. Nice. In one XV. They're not. They're not going to stop. Take her. Who's that? Um, forget her name. I think it's a. I think it's a her. She's always hunting. Nine 
nice signal. They had a good signal. Yeah, good. She. I think it's a her. In one XV. Ooh, they know my name. That's fancy. It's nice. Very nice. If I knew their name, I'd give them their name back, but I don't. Someone just call them New Jersey. <laughs> I'm gonna try that again. KF2 JC, yeah. Mm -hmm. You said KF2 JC? Mm -hmm. Yep. KA7 IMA? KA7 I what? MA? So MA? What'd you get? Yeah, I wrote a W instead of an M. Cool. Same thing. That sounds familiar. Yeah, he just sent it. No, I think I've heard that one before. <laughs> Me too. I think this is a Colorado. Called Jim Marcus? Yeah. Kind of stingy with that report. Stingy. They're free. Is that Kelly? Don't know. Must have heard you give a 439 to Florida, so he's giving you a stingy one. <laughs> it's only fair. Ooh, that was weird. No, I'm talking about it. Secret Fort Campbell stuff. Oh, is it? Want to call it? Or you yeah, go? let's call it. Want to call it? That's, that's enough. Because you go. you're going to activate too, right? Cool. Then go ahead and just say, uh, this is K-A-D-A-R-E, QRT, QRT. Anyway, so let's see here. We got okay. Marcus K eight A R E here with Ed W four E B still. Um, Marcus, yes. Let's talk about the the T R forty five skinny. What do you think of that rig? Um, How's the sound? Hold on a second, while I, I place an order here. <laughs> <laughs> you better do it quick. Honestly. I know. 
they're almost gone. So what do you think? I really like it. It sounds great. I really like the adjustable gear knob. That's mm-hmm. fantastic. Right. And it's nice, nice to, it's just overall just a great design. I thought the sound, I like it the does. sound. It does. It sounds great. Yeah. And it's got the fun meter on the on the front. Yep, the nice meter. Yeah. And um, I know we didn't get to use it a whole lot, just in one activation here, but I think I think the filters are on there really nice for me. What yeah. What I like about it is, is it's one touch filter to narrow, mm-hmm. one touch to wide, super narrow if you need to. But I find that if I'm going super narrow, that I probably should probably move. Probably. Um, Especially being lower power, that other station might yeah. hide you. Yeah. Area. Exactly. Or was it step on your crush? Yeah. Yeah. Something. And. Uh, but yeah, and how about the uh, TP3 Bama Tech Key there? What do you think of it? I really like the feel. It's a little bit small for mm-hmm. my liking because sometimes I like to mm-hmm. like hold it down uh-huh. and I just wish it was just a little bit taller. Okay. But that was probably just personal preference. Taller with the, the paddles with up the off paddles the deck. With the paddles being up just a little bit yeah. taller because mm-hmm. that's what I'm used to. Right. I'm sure if I use this a couple more times, mm-hmm. I would just fall in love with where they're at. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just a little bit different. Mm-hmm. So I'm not saying bad or good. I'm mm-hmm. just saying different. Sure. That's what it's all about. It's about, it's about for me, in doing these videos with the equipment that I have, uh, we've passed this radio, well, we passed the other version of this radio around to a couple other YouTubers mm-hmm. and let them have it. One of them wasn't uh, so quite impressed with the audio for him. He said it was a little off for him. Other fellow liked the audio on his, or on, when he used it. Uh, and that's what it's all about. It's about hearing different people's inputs. Uh, you know, I, I really like the radio. My drawbacks on the radio is it doesn't have the other bands. You know, it doesn't have... Um, um, some of the, you know, the highest band it has is 17. Um, so I wish it had some of the other bands in it. Um, but other than that, you know, I just switched rigs, but I really love the, for me, the audio on this rig is good for my ears. Um, but I found it also depends on what, where your ears are. Yeah. Um, I have one friend who, um, tone, I like a lower tone, like 490 is my tone I prefer. Mm-hmm. When my friend tries to go to 490 or, or 500, it really hurts his ears. He has to be up around the upper sevens, uh, well, or up around 700, which is funny because we're both, you know, army guys, mm-hmm. but he was around field artillery guns shooting a lot. So that might have done his lower tones a bit of damage, whereas I was around rifle fire. So, you know, for my career, so that might have messed up my higher tones for me. So it's definitely interesting. Let you know that, pardon me, if something's not working, something as simple as changing your tone uh, could make all the difference. Um, keying speed. How, how did you feel um, the ease of changing your speed from that very first QSO to the next QSO? That was fantastic. Nice. It's yeah. just able to reach down there, turn nice. a knob as opposed to trying to jump into a menu system. Right, right. How, how confident with that fancy analog meter are you that you're your SWR is good, your forward power is good. Was that easy, quick, easy to read, easy to set and move on? Yeah, like I had the 891 and Mm -hmm. the SWR is easy to read Mm -hmm. when you're keying on it, but I don't really look at that all the time. I just occasionally look and say, okay, it's still good. Right. So I'm not looking at it, but it's easy Mm -hmm. just to glance at it and just go, yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I have the true SDX and that Mm -hmm. the little letters are so small, the numbers, you can't. You can't just glance up there and look. You really yeah. got to look at it, and it's yeah. kind of distracting to try to check that. Yeah. So the meter is a really good size for check that, just mm-hmm. like the 891 that I'm used to also. Right. So I give it a yeah. – I really like it. I like it too. And we found out that John, the the inventor and maker of the Pentec TR45, has uh, decided to retire. So uh, he said, however, that he's still available for repairs and service and maintenance of the radio. Yeah. But he'll no longer be producing them. And so once he finishes assembling the ones that he has in shop, that'll be the last run and no more available. Yeah. So if people are wanting one, they better uh, better get on the website and order. He has a lot more of the skinnies. I shouldn't say a lot more. Uh, he has a, more, more skinnies yeah. than he does the regular full-size radios. Uh, the full-size radios, of course, come with the Z-Match tuner and a built-in battery. Um, but I don't mind the skinny not having that because uh, if I put it in storage and can't play radio, I don't have to worry about a battery being inside of it. Well, that's the other thing is that I was looking at the skinny over the other one because it's easy just to get a bioano and just plug it in. Yep. And it's not... Or any power source. Yeah, I don't need, need it built in. And right. it's nice to know that 
if I put it in a box for five years and pull right. it out, mm-hmm. I'm not worried about a bad battery right? Cause or a battery that. leaking and yes. causing problems or yeah. I don't know what else goes wrong with batteries. Right. But and I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to pull the battery out of my full-size one Yeah. Uh, just because I do use my skinny all the time. Um, I like the side tone adjustment volume knob mm-hmm. placement on the skinny. It's on the side where you can reach it easier. And I found that the power consumption... Um, I believe last I measured is like 1.6 amps on transmit and 0.5 or 0.6 amps just sitting on receive. And on a 12 amp hour bio Uno battery, I got a measured 14 and a half hours of use uh, before I recharged again. Only 14 and a half hours? Yeah. Oh yeah, my so gosh. That's, that's a 12 amp hour battery, so pretty big. So it lets me know that I also have that 3 amp hour. How many activations can you do in 14 hours? I have no idea. Probably a bunch. Mm. You could do a rove on it. Oh, yeah, I did do a rove. Yeah. I, well, I haven't charged since. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so 14 hours is super awesome. Yeah, that's a long time. The rove, you know, because you get your 10 or 12 and move out and go. So yeah. you're not on there that long, honestly. Yeah. And if you haven't seen the rove video, uh, you could go up and, and check out my rove video. It's one of these corners it's over here somewhere. I don't know how they here? do that. I don't know. They point and it just appears. I, I don't know how to make the video pop up there. Oh, they point. Hmm. Maybe hmm. I'll do the end screen thing where I make my row video the end screen. Oh. That's what I could do. Okay. Yep. Wait a minute. This is your SD card. Yeah. So this is your video. But you can copy all the video off of it. I'm just a cameraman. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this up. And, okay. And um, what we'll do is we'll, yeah, we'll do a couple of things. Okay. Anyway, we'll wrap up this part of it. All right. Thanks for Thanks for coming to Tennessee. No, thanks for inviting me down. I didn't. You said, hey, I'm coming to Tennessee. Oh, yeah, that's right. And you just showed up. Yeah. Thanks for not kicking me out. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part is where your wife texts you and says, hey, where are you? Oh, yeah. So get this. I tell my, I tell my wife, I said, hey, I was going to go to Tennessee. And then the trip got canceled. I said, ah, oh, trip got canceled. I said, we're going to have to reschedule it. And so I say, oh, it's rescheduled. It's going to be today on Wednesday. She's like, oh, okay. And a couple of days go by, and I get up this morning and load everything up and head out. And uh, I live in Ohio, and I'm just crossed into Kentucky on my way to Tennessee. And I get a text from the wife, good morning, where are you at? <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean where am I at? <laughs> so I called her up and said, hey, good morning. Uh, I'm on my way to Tennessee. She's like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oops. She's like, drive safe. I love you. It's been funnier for you to say, going out for a pack of smokes. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you don't smoke. <laughs> I told him that's just like the time that, uh, you know, I I was uh, at the lumber yard getting some stuff at Lowe's there. And I got home. <laughs> and as I'm unloading the stuff out of the truck, I get a text from my wife. Hey, where you at? And I'm like, I said, uh, I just got home from Lowe's. I said, uh, you know, I'm downstairs unloading mm-hmm. lumber. Makes sense. And I'm like. You know, why, what's up? And she says, because I went with you to Lowe's. <laughs> you only make that mistake once. I know, right? <laughs> I was wondering why the ride home was so quiet. Yeah, smooth ride. And he then tires. after that, I got the silent treatment. Oh, huh. even quieter. Did, no, no, no. Did you know the silent treatment is not silent? Hmm. Like kitchen cabinet doors, they, they <laughs> shut harder. And footsteps across the hardwood floor sound yeah. louder hmm. during the silent treatment period. I did not. I did, well, get carpet. So I'm sitting there like trying to watch TV and I'm yeah. like, hey, woman, <laughs> silent treatment is supposed to be silent. Knock it off. Of course, that's when the coffee cup flies through the room. Hmm. No, just kidding. No. That's all jokes. Anyway. Uh, Probably. I will say this, that during my, my 10 Park Rove, my wife did it. She did it. AA4SB did a great thing. Yeah. You you can pre-register your um, your your park. You know, you go on and you, you schedule your activation from this date, from this time to this time, which I did uh, for the first park. So that way, when I got to the park, I could call CQ, the reverse beacon network picks me up, and then the photo website picks you up and sticks you on the website. Good to go. Mm-hmm. But you don't know exactly what time you're going to get to that first park. You don't know exactly what time you're going to wrap up with your 10th or 12th contact and go QRT and then move to the second park. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to 10 parks in a day, how do you QRT for one park and schedule your next park all while you're driving? So Chantel did a wonderful thing at A4SB. She sat at home and I would tell her QRT. So she would go to the POTA website on my computer Mm -hmm. and she would cancel that activation 
And then she would add an activation for the next park I was headed to. That's teamwork so that way, right as there. soon as I got there, all I had to do was call CQ. It picked me right up on the beacon. I completed the activation. I text her QRT or she was listening in. And she didn't always hear me, but uh, she could hear other people. Mm -hmm. So that was really nice having her as home support. So she was basically scheduling my parks one park ahead of me every yep. time I'd QRT. Anyway, having said all that, we're at the end of this. So we're going to go ahead and cut this off and get ready and head out. <laughs> so I'm Ed W4 EMB with Marcos K8 A R E. Awesome. All there right. We go. We'll see you. Seventy twos. Seventy two. Because we're QRPs. Yeah. All right. Where's the clacker? Oh man. Dang. It is in the back, I think. Oh. Just my do gosh. a fake one. I think that, I think it's this way. Oh. I did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it. Red button. Is anyone going to give me a signal report? I missed what he said. He just gave me, he called my call sign. I gave him five nine. Give me a five seven. Stingy. What's the deal with that? <laughs> They're free.
I missed his name. Er oh, me too. I think it was like Irvin, Texas, maybe? Irving, Texas, yeah. Irving. What frequency are you on? talking this guy we're not activating <laughs> yeah, you, you probably should start acting for your 72 and move on it's great to have a nice little rag chew with somebody though it really is but uh we are kind of on a time restraint <laughs> all right well 73 on next time okay it's nice to rag chew though that's cool He's got one of those icons. This is going to be the slowest activation ever. <laughs> Give the sinner's fellow a card. It's nice. You record, we could send him a link to the like a little video or something. He'd be like, oh, that's cool. He's like, they're making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, we... We're making fun of ourselves. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Send on the wrong call sign. KA5. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that was uh, only a 12-minute contact. There At this go. rate, we'll be done nice. after dark. <laughs> What's funny is like, hey, do you think you should move on and go find a frequency and call CQ? No, I want to get this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you said, you're an idiot. <laughs> get a little of this. I, I didn't start copying. I, I had it in my head. And, and, and I was back copying or copying behind. I wrote, my pig is... Well, that's um, what I wrote. I wrote, my pig is 7299. And you go, oh, he's got a 7300. I went, oh, my rig is a 7300. I wrote, my pig is 7299. <laughs> like his flying pig number. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's go find a frequency. Oh, man. That seems really fast now. Not his frequency, uh, though. No, this is a different frequency. Oh, okay. What frequency but, are you on now? Uh, 6-2. This sounds really fast because we're going so <laughs> slow. I'm like, man, is this thing set right? Sorry. No. Hey, but you know what? This before we run out of camera juice. Let's camera see we, juice. Yeah. See if we it can. It runs do... out of camera juice. Yeah, it's got oh, camera I got juice. I got a. I got a. I got some extra juice in my bag. If it needs some juice, pep it up. Let's see if we can. Hopefully, I think. Hopefully, we'll, hopefully we can fit. I'm pretty fat. Do you think we can both fit? I'm pretty fat. Um, hmm. I don't know, because I can't see the screen. Ooh. What if I touch it? Do we, oh, this is where we make a weird pose and hold, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I like scratching my head, like I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, one, two, three. I think That's probably going to look pretty. I don't know. How about this? We could do, like, the, the pose, like, hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, <laughs>